Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and we're going to take a look at what's on my iPad. Thanks to all of you for sending in the suggestion of what's on my iPhone and what's on my iPad. Really surprised how many of you want to watch those type of videos, but uh, keep those suggestions coming because a lot of you apparently do, and I'm, I'm always open to hear what kind of videos you guys want to see because ultimately that's who I'm making them for. So let's go ahead and remove the smart cover and take a look at what's actually on the iPad itself. So the iPad is going to have a lot of things that are similar to my iPhone because they sync back and forth, but there's a lot of extra things too that you don't have on the iPhone. So as you can see, I have a very similar layout to what I have on my iPad, or iPhone rather, and I have Bible, books, uh, and then TiVo remote and remote and things like that. Photo booth, which you don't have on iPhone 4S, but let's go ahead and take a look in the magazines folder. Now things are going to be a lot less organized than they were on my iPhone because my whole family uses this and things get moved around and deleted and put back in place, so if I really wanted to put them how I want it, this would be much more organized, but not a big deal really. So under magazines I have Auto Week, Twit, which really isn't a magazine, it's This Week in Tech, it's Leo Laporte's podcasts on his network, great stuff if you've ever listened to those epicurious for food and mixtab mixtab kind of grabs rss feeds such as my own or n gadgets or whoever's and puts them in a list together so you can see everything nicely in a magazine format there are some others like that as well like flipboard but it's similar to that and i'm just trying out different ones under my entertainment folder this is probably what i use my ipad personally for the most when i'm not using it for notes I probably use it for Hulu Plus and Netflix most, uh, ABC, Time Warner Cable. I don't really use TNT, Crackle, the PBS, or NBC, but I do use these top four more than anything else. Probably Hulu Plus and Netflix being the number one use for me on the iPad. This is kind of my portable television, as sad as that might be, but it's what it is for me, and it's convenient and nice, but my kids use it for a lot of other things. Now, on the iPhone video, someone asked me, you know, which one should I get, Pages or Keynote? Well, that really depends what you want to do. They're completely different applications. So if, you're gonna, if you need a word processor that does a good job with words and graphics and things along those lines, you're going to want to get Pages. If you need a presentation uh, software that, that you use similar to PowerPoint, well, that's what Keynote is, only it's a much nicer version. And it works, they both work really well on the iPad. Uh, but it really comes down to which one you need. If you need, po if you need a PowerPoint type application, get Keynote. If you need a word processor, get Pages. Uh, I would suggest getting Pages first if you just want one of the apps, just because it's more useful, well, uh, probably initially. Uh, I use it a lot too. Let's go ahead and open it. Here's my documents. They all sync to iCloud, so I have them on my iPhone and here all at the same time. That part's really nice. And my Mac, they all sync to that now. And this is just some of my notes for some of you guys that want a little insight on how I do things. Generally, when I'm recording a video, I have my iPad off to the side, unless it's an iPad video, uh, with some notes on it. And originally, I, uh, way back, I don't know, two and a half years ago, I didn't really use notes, and things got all over the place. So in order to get better, that's a little bit of a tip. You need to have some notes nearby, if you don't already. So this was the Razer vs. iPhone 4S video. I just kept some points to talk about. So the design and build quality, the quick boot-up comparison, touchscreen, camera speed, battery, and Wi-Fi. And, you know, you can add as you're going on. It depends how good you are at improv, really. So you've got all those. And I keep all my notes here. They do get deleted, but I, I do that for most videos that I need to go through certain points while I'm going through it. And this is a great way to do that. You can do it on any notepad, but that's what I use. So I have SpringPad. That's a task management application. I have Planning Center Online. This is more for management for... Uh, some of you asked, am I a Christian? I am a Christian. Um, I, I help out in a youth group, and that's to help organize it. I'm not any... I'm a youth leader, but I don't actually I'm not a pastor or anything like that so that's just so I know what's going on and everybody else does too we have audio memos and reminders so audio memos is pretty straightforward it lets you export your memos reminders same thing as the iPhone uh, someone also asked am I a teacher I am a teacher uh, as far as a computer class goes I, I work more in the network telecom field myself uh, but I'm a teacher more in the as far as a computer class once a week. It's not nothing big, but it's something I do also. 
So let's take a look at the next folder, which is my lifestyle folder, which really shouldn't say lifestyle. But there's Skype, eBay, Facebook, Newegg, Dropbox, and the Apple Store. All pretty self-explanatory. Under social, messages, Haytel, and FaceTime. Uh, Facebook should probably be under there, maybe Twitter. But that's, that's how it's organized now. Like I said, it's not very organized at all. Under newsstand... Uh, are a combination of magazines. Most of these are free, but I paid for Popular Science and Auto Week that you saw in the other folder. Some of the other things my wife looks at, like family fun, good housekeeping. Uh, I'm more of the car nut and science technology guy, so I look at those type of magazines. And then we've got National Geographic Kids. So I download any of these that are free just to try them out. Why not? Uh, here we have TiVo Remote. Same thing as on the iPhone only a bigger interface which is nice and remote for the Apple TV same deal along the bottom I have what I use the most so you have your Safari mail app store videos photos and music now on this page I have three pages total on my second page is mostly games I play a bunch of games my kids play a bunch of games I'm a big gamer I've been on Xbox since the original Xbox I've been playing video games since way back so I've had just about every video game machine for those of that, that wondered uh, minus the Neo Geo so quite a few of them and I still play games all the time uh, Big Z on Xbox Live I know a lot of you have friended me I'm running out of friend request room so if you really wanna be on my friends list and play Modern Warfare 3 or Forza Motorsports 4 uh, message me via YouTube and I can make room for you, and I'll, hopefully there aren't too many that I can't. So under Utilities, first thing here, I have Air Display, Air Video, iMovie. Air Display allows this to be a second monitor to your MacBook or Mac. Uh, and I, I don't know if it works on Windows as well, but it's a great little application and isn't too expensive. does a good job. Air Video lets you stream video from your computer to your iPad. iMovie is iMovie. And airport utility, I have a time capsule that's also a router, they're combined, and that allows you to control everything, so you don't need a Mac anymore to do that. iDisk, find, I, find my iPhone. We have Zag's photo pad, if you want to edit video or edit photos real quickly. Find my friends and Keynote remote. So under here I have kids books, a uh, great book, there's a monster at the end of the book old book I thought it was funny when I was a little kid and it's still and it came out on iPad so I got it for my kids they love it and I still like it it's a neat book and then sesame books but under games I have a lot of games so I'm gonna only go over what I use a lot and probably nothing in here Contre Jour, Oregon Trail maybe the game of life sometimes with family uh, but those are probably it in here but I'll just leave it there so you can see that for a moment and let's go to the next game folder. Under this game folder, there's some games I've played a lot, but I haven't in a while, such as Virtual City. Uh, I beat Plants vs. Zombies, so I haven't played that in a while. Uh, Airport Mania, great game. In another folder, I think there's Airport Mania 2. Uh, my favorite game on here, though, is World of Goo. I did a review of that some time ago. Great game. Uh, very intuitive. I beat it on the Mac and then had to get it for this because it's just such a great game. And let's go ahead and... Oh, and I've started to play Ace Attorney, which was originally on the DS. Great game also. I like it a lot. And it just takes a long time. There's an awful lot of reading in that game. Let's go under this folder. In this folder, Airport Mania 2. Uh, my wife plays that a lot, actually. Uh, my, I'm more of a Sim City type gamer. A, a roller Coaster Tycoon. I wish they'd come out with that for the iPad. I know they have a version of Transport Tycoon, but I love those games. And I would love to see Roller Coaster Tycoon on here someday, but we'll see. And Field Runners played through all of that, on easy anyway. I was able to get through all of it. Angry Birds, but out of these, I play mostly Field Runners, SimCity, and yeah, that's kind of it. I really don't play too many games on here. The games that are played the most are left out of folders. But let's first go into the music folder, GarageBand, and Free Keyboard 2. GarageBand is GarageBand, and the keyboard just lets you play keyboard music. So Ticket to Ride, great board game. 
it's great on the iPad. You can play it against other people as well. It's a good, good, good game if you haven't tried that. A Puzzle Agent HD. Uh, my daughter actually played through the entire game. I've hardly played it, but I helped her along the way a little bit, and I think that's a great game. Uh, challenging puzzles really makes you think, and that's good for uh, kids, I think, anyway. And then... We have Sid Meier's Pirates. That's more for me. I bought that. And that's Sid Meier's Pirates from way back, around Sega Genesis time. It came out. It's come out on multiple platforms. It's even older than that, though. Good game. And Scribble Knots, another good game. Was on the DS. Still is on the DS, but there's a Scribble Knots version for iPad, and it's just as good as the others. Jetpack Joyride, you saw on the other, on the, the other video. Uh, iTunes trailers, box.net, those really belong in folders. Talking news, my kids like that. I can only take so much, but it's it can be funny at times. Uh, Princess and the Pea story, that again needs to go probably in kids' books, so we'll do that now. And talking news, Bike Baron, Hospital, you know, some of these I just grab to download and try out. Let's go to the next page. Rope and Fly was free, so tried that out. Discover Music. It installed from my iPhone. Uh, Puzzle Agent 2, my daughter, I said, beat Puzzle Agent 1, so I decided to get her Puzzle Agent 2 a little while later. Sally's Spa, they play that a lot. Uh, National Geographic, 7 billion people, I thought that was an interesting app, so I downloaded that. And then these last two I've been using a lot lately. Uh, Engadget's Distro, which is a magazine that's kind of a weekly wrap-up on their on in magazine form of what's on their website and more in depth about those things. So it's a pretty nice way to kind of complement the, the quick blog news. And then Minecraft. You know, Minecraft has sold so many ridiculous amounts of copies and it's great that the people that developed it were this successful. That's really awesome. Uh, I wish I had something that successful. But they uh, have made a portable edition. Now I've played around with it some. I find the game to be a little bit frustrating in that I would like a bigger view of the world and maybe I just need to play around with it more uh, because I want to plan out what I want to build and it's just a little bit challenging the way the way you see on this so maybe I'm just not seeing something but I definitely want to uh, get into it a little bit more if any of you have any suggestions on uh, and not really tutorials I get how to play it uh, but maybe better ways to do things. Uh, please hit me up on, on messaging or, or uh, comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. So I think that's it as far as what's on my iPad. Now, as always, please su subscribe and comment, but also comment and let me know what you, what you use and maybe what I don't have that you find to be most valuable that you think could be valuable to me. I saw some of your suggestions on the iPhone or what's on my iPhone video, and I'm going to check a bunch of those out, so I appreciate that. So please make suggestions here, and uh, if, for example, um, under here I use Mixtab. If you think there's a better RSS reader, such as Flipboard or another one, please please tell me. I'd love to check it out. There's so many apps at this point that it's extremely hard to figure out which ones are the best. So I'm always open to say, you know, let's check them out. Just because they're in the top 10 doesn't make them the best. That just means a lot of people downloaded them. So I would love to hear what you have to say. So thanks for watching. As always, this is Aaron. I'll see you next time.